Tonight, an update to a story we followed for a few nights now. We're hearing more from the Norfolk police chief after one of his officers was shot Saturday afternoon. The officer is expected to make a full recovery. The man police say opened fire first is still in the hospital with life threatening injuries. Chief Mark Talbot spoke with 10 on your side's Markeisha Jackson about Saturday's events and what's next for the officer's recovery. According to Norfolk Police Chief Mark Talbot, two people are facing charges from this incident that all began when officers were called to assist Child Protective Services and things quickly escalated. A bad situation turned worse. Any police chief would say it's the worst possible phone call to, for you to get. And it's a call that Norfolk Police Chief Mark Talbot got on Saturday. That's when officers responded to a home on Arcadia Street. Officers were met by a combative 23-year-old Cassandra Smith and then confronted by gunfire from 29-year-old Samuel M. Burton, which led to the suspect and an officer being shot. It's often a reality for the men and women that are out doing the job every day. It's not potentially life-threatening for many of them. It is life-threatening. The officer, Sean Blackwell, is now back at home recovering. What still concerns nearby neighbors and Chief Talbot is the sad reality that these shootings keep happening. Strange thing to even talk about. People who are choosing unprovoked to shoot at police officers. That makes them some of the most dangerous people in society. None of us can tolerate it. If that is what police officers face, nobody else in the neighborhood has much of a chance. But he's grateful for the officers who choose to protect and serve a role, he says, that shouldn't be taken lightly. While others get to convalesce and, and, and take time to grieve and recover, that's not how it works in, the, in this business. So, so we will continue to do everything that we need to do to keep the city safe. The chief tells me that suspect that opened fire is still in the hospital with life threatening injuries. He also faces a long list of charges. You can read more over on wavy.com. Reporting in Norfolk, Markeisha Jackson, 10 on your side.